Hey, what's up guys? Camp in Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. I finally had a big session of Fortnite yesterday and I, I landed Covert Cavern only. Let's start with this. <laughs> with that being said, is it, this is IO's best soldier. It's, it's a meme. This is IO's best soldier and, and of course referencing the event gets his face used to turn off a machine. <laughs> Basically, IO's best soldier is nothing for the foundation, right? It kind of works perfectly here with the release of the foundation, uh, the arrival of, of Gunner, the boss, and, and Covert Cavern. So I, I thought that was kind of funny, but let, let's lead that into our talk. What have you thought about Covert Cavern so far? Uh, I love it. I think it is such a good POI. Uh, I think the fights are super unique. And I, I mean, it's the Grotto V2. I think it's way better than the Grotto. Some people will probably disagree with me, but I didn't land a Grotto a ton either, but I, I, I'm just a big fan of this. Now, let's let's talk storyline or I guess stuff that matters, live event stuff, whatever. The, this is the big drill, okay? Or at least the thing that holds the big drill uh, at Covert Cavern. And, and what do I mean by this? Well, well the, we've got sounds in the files uh, that reference this massive drill that the IO has in Covert Cavern. They're drilling for something, right? Like it, it confuses me a little bit because they drilled their way here, but but I think this is different. They're they're drilling to try and find something, uh, and we we're not exactly sure what that something is yet. But on the topic of this, the IO, let let's take a look at Ferals here, a uh, a concept epic photo. Let me show you. Check this out. We know that the Caddis monster is underground somewhere, whether, whether it's the Devourer POI or in Covert Cavern. Uh, the IO is going to either clone him, uh, like this photo here, cha cha chain him up and train him. I don't know what's going to happen, but th th there's theories with evidence here that, that Caddis is returning under IO's control. So yeah, I thought that photo was just epic. Uh, giving us an idea of hopefully maybe by the end of the season we, we, we see what happens with this guy uh, in, Unless it's a, a something that goes all the way into next season, right? And, and we got to wait till then still no confirmation of a live event this season I think our last chance we, we have 19-3, 19-4 and then that's it and then we move on to the next season So I think our last chance we, we need to have some evidence of a live event in 19-3 or I'm not too sure it's going to happen this season, which is okay. I mean, we, we've been spoiled lately with all the live events, but it's probably my favorite part about this game is the live events, so that's why I talk about it so much. Fortnite times Silk Sonic, Bruno Mars and Anderson. That was our code name, Sleek collaboration. I got the trailer going in the background, and then you can see the cosmetics here. These guys are arriving in the Icon series February 10th. Okay, so we got a few days until then, of course. Uh, but one thing you can do is on Monday, February 7th, compete in the Duo Silk Sonic Cup for a chance to unlock the Bruno Mars outfit, Anderson Pack outfit, uh, and all the other stuff there as well. Backlink pickaxe. Uh, the easiest one to get, earn at least eight points to unlock the Silk Sonic Spray. Okay, the other ones you're going to have to place uh, pr pretty high uh, to, to get the skins for free, get them early as well. But... Yeah, that's uh, that, that's what's going on. That was our, our codename Sleek collab. And it's, a, I mean, lots of people are excited about this one. I believe there's a radio station that, that's attached to this as well. Uh, yeah, good, good, good stuff. The foundation is now unlockable through challenges. This is yesterday. I didn't make a video yesterday. So just let you know, that's why you see all the, uh, <laughs> so many foundations running around. I love it. What, a, what, what an alpha skin. Hey, and, and now the whole lobby is just alpha. All, all 100 of, of us. So yeah, he's finally arrived and uh, one of the best characters of all time in the Fortnite universe, in my opinion. Let me know what you think about that. An update to the Clombos. The, uh, about a week or I guess a couple weeks back, three spawn locations out of the total 21 uh, for Clombo had, had been disabled for whatever reason. Those are now back. All right, so the three Clombo spawns around the map that were disabled have now been re-enabled. I don't know exactly which ones were disabled, which ones were enabled. Apparently, it's a little confusing to tell specifics, but you'll see more of these guys. <laughs> That's never a bad thing, right? We, we love these guys. We absolutely love them. Reminder to subscribe. Turn those noties on. I'm your Fortnite guy. Stick with me. Next here, there are two sets of audio. I'm going to play them uh, right, right, right 
right one after another 30 seconds they're they're both from the scientists and there's some really important stuff here so give it a listen the enemy has recruited new spies and i'd like to know who they are the imagined order guard suits are programmed to recognize friendly agents so um could you if you would gently softly and permanently eliminate one of them thank you bring the suits key card to me and we'll pretend this never happened that's the key card quick run away from your problems well, the good news is, you're not on the list. I will now reward your loyalty by disappearing into my lab to do more important work. Hey, Paradigm. So, um, so far I've refrained from laying a guilt trip on you like my mom used to do, which you should appreciate, or should have appreciated, because those days are over. We have reports of seismological disturbances from the underside of the island. That leads me to believe that the imagined order are not only active, they're gathering forces. The Imagined Order is playing with a fire that will consume every world we know and every world we've yet to discover. So hurry home while we still have one. To summarize, new spies on the island, courtesy of IO. The IO guard suits recognize agents. And you got to deliver the data card to the scientist, obviously. The scientist desperately wants Paradigm to come back to the Seven. IO is gathering more forces. And if IO takes controls of bo control of both sides, all reality is at risk. The war, the battle continues. Love it, man. Big fan of the storyline right now. Fortnite is from Kumar. Fortnite just made a huge connection in lore, at least unofficially. The new IO flatbed truck textures have a second UV set map to them. When put onto a trailer, it is the same trucks that were in Dusty Divot in Chapter 1. The IO is Chapter 1's agency. And this has been a little bit of a de debate in the community. There's also in the files here, Fort, Fort Tory uh, responds, uh, government secret complex. We've, we've had, we had like a government on the last island, right? That yellow thingy, was that the IO also? No idea, actually, just a combo between him and Big John. So basically debating the same thing. That, that yellow like government agency logo from chapter one was it the IO the whole time or is it something separate? This question's been coming up more and more this chapter. And the thing is though, yes, there's a connection in lore here, but did Fortnite do it on purpose or not, right? That's why he said unofficially in the post. So I, I thought it was worth bringing up. I know we've talked about this a few times, two more big pieces of news, but something I read, it's Fortnite Star Wars. Okay, Fortnite times Star Wars. I know we've talked about it a bit, but I have something to add to it. This is an epic concept, by the way, from Akko, and he's going to be revealing revealing his concept in uh, in two days. Like some, I don't know, he's probably got a big, either a cool trailer or a cool uh, photo th of what he thinks is going to come. But I'm caught up on the book of Boba Fett, and I won't spoil anything, but I thought it was eight total episodes. So, and we're on episode six right now, but it's only seven. So the finale is next week. And the main reason I bring that up is, remember, in the files, there is a this is the way emote uh, re ready to go, ready to release. Okay, and that's all we know. But also in that file, it's not just the emote. Apparently, it's a big enough file or a certain type of file that it can be skins, back bling, some other stuff. Which makes me think, and the reason I bring it up again is, which makes me think next week, we're going to have some type of Fortnite time Star Wars collab. Uh, update right uh, and, and I thought it, we were two weeks away because I, I had the finale time messed up but yeah it's sooner than we think uh, the finale is Wednesday morning uh, 12 12 a.m. PST so around that time maybe Tuesday to get people hyped up we'll have to wait and see but based on the show there was a lot of good stuff we could see uh, this is what Akko tweets hoping for any of these in the encrypted packs dark saber we've talked about it so many times Ahsoka would just blow all our minds that would be legendary and then Darth Vader as well I don't know if we're getting Darth I don't think it'll be Darth uh, coming up here Darth Vader that wouldn't really make sense he's not a huge part of uh, the show right now so we'll see let me know your thoughts but I thought it was worth bringing up and the final thing I got for you is this on reddit hear me out what if F epic gave us a seven soldier skin next season as the tier one or even an item shop skin a skin that's not a member of the seven but rather a customizable soldier like the chimera tuna fish and haven skins that allows us to create our own honorary member of the seven i thought this was such a good idea that would spice up the battle pass like no other let me know your thoughts touch that like button for me take care talk soon goodbye